Hey, what's going on? This is Phil Weinberger with CareStream Dental and I wanted to make a little video with a tip on using the PDIP, the Prosthetic Driven Implant Planning Module, and uh, in a high scatter case when you're designing crowns. So this is a 12 by 5 centimeter scan off the 8200 3D and you can see all the crowns and the implants and the metal and you can also see the high amounts of scatter on our 3D rendering and obviously we have the MAR, the metal artifact reduction software that we can apply to it. Although on this particular case, the doctor did not apply the MAR. So we're left with a bunch of scatter. So the first thing we're going to do is merge our 3700 scan with our CBCT. And we can just hit the align button and the software does a really nice job in merging everything accurately. You still want to validate it and make sure that everything is merged accurately, of course. But even in a case like this where there's high amounts of scatter, the software does a really nice job in matching everything very well just with a single click. So now you can see our scan is merged and we can also visualize our cross-sectional views to help validate the merge and the accuracy, which you can see it does a nice job here. So the next thing you wanna do is design your crowns, but with high amounts of scatter like this, it can be challenging to design your crowns accurately. So here's the tip. We're going to use the region of interest tool. And you can see that over here, there's a little drop down arrow with a 2D region of interest and a 3D region of interest. We're going to select 3D. I find it easier to use. And the idea is we're going to cut out the entire CBCT to only leave the digital impression remaining. There's two options. You can draw a shape to preserve the inside or draw a shape to remove the inside. In this particular case, we're going to remove the inside and we're just going to click around the entire CBCT, double click when you're done, and we're now deleting the entire CBCT and leave only the digital impression remaining. We can name this as well if we wanted to, select OK. And now under our region of interest option, you can toggle your CBCT on and off, making it much easier to design your crown. And that's what I've done here. So if you take a look at the crowns and I can unhide them, you can see it gives you the ability to visualize things much, much better and plan your implants, which you can see here. And if you wanted to add back your CBCT or again, toggle it on and off, you're just going back to the region of interest and you can visualize it that way. So it makes it much, much easier. Hope this helps.